Hello everyone, this is Isabel. I'm at PTC 23. I, as you can see, it's an amazing location. We're very spoiled. I'm also spoiled because I'm joined by two crazy but very passionate guys today. Nabil Mahmoud and Philip Keblens. They're both the founders of Nomad Futurist, which is a great initiative. Guys, welcome to my hotshot. Well, thank you for having us and welcome to Hawaii. Thanks so much. Really tough day at the office, as you can see. <laughs> um, thank you so much for having us, Isabel. So guys, like me, you're passionate about the young generation, encouraging them to, to join our great industry. Tell me a bit more about your initiative. So, uh, you know, we started Nomad Futurist as a podcast. Uh, we had, we had um, found this problem. Nabil and I both kind of went on the, the speaking circuit over the course of uh, many years in our careers. And we noticed the same crowds just getting, you know, kind of older and older, not a lot of new blood coming into the industry. So we started the podcast in 2020. Um, with the hopes of highlighting the stories of the fascinating people we, we knew in this industry in the hopes that there are stories that are driven in most um, in most cases by happenstance. They just kind of fell into our industry, would resonate with the younger generation. And that evolved to the Nomad Futures Foundation, which really focuses on trying to get, you know, younger generation um, of different socioeconomic backgrounds, different ethnicities, different races and religions um, globally into our industry so that we can secure the, uh, the foundation of our digital future. I think it's great. We need more people like you doing these great things, guys. <laughs> I'll, anytime you say you need more people like me, I'll just listen. Just keep on going, Isabel. Keep on going. Love it. Love it. So why isn't there more young people joining us? What's the barrier to entry? What's going on? Well, I think there's a level of complexity that we've created in the industry that this is a very tight niche and a complex industry to be in. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons. Uh, secondly, it's not something that's being talked about at dinner tables when grandma or mom and dad are having a conversation. You know, typically they talk about becoming an attorney or uh, a fireman or whatever the case might be, nobody talks about being in the digital infrastructure. So the the reason really at the core of it is the, the lack of visibility at a broader level, even though everybody uses technology, it's at their fingertips, but they don't understand that they have an opportunity in this space. And there, there is this perception or this persona of this industry out from my point of view that things automatically happen. There is a Oz sitting behind the curtain that's kept the world connected. Um, and, and, and being here and talking about this, I think it's a great opportunity to bring this industry forward to a broader audience and uh, share that, you know, uh, it, there, there is an opportunity to, to make this better. And, um, you know, one of, one of the things, one of the initiatives of the foundation is to create awareness, but also educate. And I am a firm believer in education exposure that results into opportunities. And I think we need more cool guys like you showing how cool we are in this industry, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. You hear that, I mean, kids? Yeah. I, Daddy's cool. Daddy's cool. <laughs> no, who would have ever thunk it when I was being shoved into those lockers as a high schooler that I'd cool. So the world who knew me, Isabel says I'm cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's never too late to be cool. Yeah, I clearly, clearly. And you know what? I, I, I love it. You've, you've done it, Bill. I can't you've done it. Made it. <laughs> made it. So, guys, it's not finished. I got my one word challenge. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever met me? One word? Okay. <laughs> That's Good why luck. it's called Good a challenge. Yes, so word. I'm going to ask you a question and you have to answer in one word. Okay. Okay. Let me yes, see sir. what the list says. Okay. If you could change one thing in the industry, what would it be? Uh, awareness. Education. What keeps you awake at night? The sec well, security. Loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why you, what, what makes you jealous of Nabil? One word? Oh my God, Nabil. <laughs> I mean, okay, one word, hair. Okay, <laughs> okay. What, what makes you jealous of Philip? Uh, gosh, his ability to communicate, I think, I mean, um, he, he can, oh, that's a lot of words. It's like, again, the challenge of the words. Um, communication. Very good. Um, what is the best thing about the young generation? They're not shy. They're not shy. Uh, you, I mean, keep it. I'll keep on talking, but it's supposed no, no, to be a no, one no, word no, challenge. Okay. So, um, not shy. Not shy. Not shy. Uh, willingness and willingness to learn. Okay. 
Uh, what was what is the most important thing people watching us can do to help encourage the young generation to join us? Participate. Um, uh, become mentors. And if you could tell the people watching us anything you want, what would it be? Join our initiative. Live life like there is on tomorrow, and if tomorrow comes, live again. And I would say be change, be the change, take action, get involved. And as you can see, we're having great fun. So join us on this great journey. So guys, thank you for this great interview. Thank I you think, so Bill, you've been quite well behaved. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm biting my tongue. No, thank you. <laughs> well, and, and, and that's a great thing. You've done a phenomenal job. It feels biting his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Everyone, thank you for watching. And until my next hot shot.